Hi everyone, welcome on my video. Today we are going to build an AI agent that can win against a computer in the game Pong. I choose the game Pong because it's a very simple game, does not have many rules. And um, the AI agent will be using a neural network that we will be building from scratch. Also, we will implement reinforcement learning. Once you get it running, you can then implement more Atari games. So this is the final result and our uh, AI agent is training right now. It's the green one. So it's learning how to win against the computer, the orange one. It's going to be learning probably for a, a day uh, before we start seeing good results. Okay. And... Um, so this use a new neural network because our AI agent does not have any information about how is the game built and how does it work. So it will just be looking and taking images from the game, pre-processing these images, basically removing color, background and also downsampling to reduce the resolution. And it will be using a neural network to compute a probability of moving the paddle up or down. This probability will become action and the paddle will move up or down. And if the round is over, we need to know uh, whether the agent won or lost. And after each episode, which means when someone reach here 20, uh, this will restart again. And it will pass a result through the back propagation algorithm to compute the gradient for our weights. And then if we won, we'll get a reward. And if we did not win, then we would not get any reward. And this is going to be uh, pushing our agent to learn. Okay, so now let's start. Yeah, so and and. The, uh, the last thing is that this is going to be repeating, this process is going to be repeating and again and again until our weights are tuned to the point where the AI will win against the computer. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to stop this for now. Okay, and I will tell you, I'll take you through all the steps. So basically the first thing we are going to be using is OpenAI and OpenAI is a research organization funded in 2015 by Elon Musk and they specialize in digital intelligence. They launched a toolkit called Jim and this toolkit is for developing and comparing reinforcement learning algorithms by teaching agents anything from walking to playing games. So you can check out this website and go through the documentation if you want. And uh, first thing we need to do here is install. This is the command you need to install a uh, gym, but because I already have it installed, so it's no point to, of me running this command again, okay? So when you have it installed, then you want to test that everything is running properly. We can test it by taking this code and you can create a new file and just paste this here. And then we can test So test.python, okay, yeah, so if you see this window, this means everything is working perfectly fine. And if you have any problems, don't hesitate to leave a comment, okay. Also, you can see that uh, you can use Pong, for example, because this is the one we are going to be using for our tutorial. And 
I think is a zero. Let's just try. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So next, I'm going to take you through the code that I used for this tutorial. I got this code from this website. It's called the Robot Camp, and they have some really nice tutorials. Okay, so this is what I followed. Uh, installation, some explanation and theory, and then they have the solution. And you can go on this website and just download the full code. So this is what I did, and this I'm gonna just explain this code to you guys. Okay, so first we are gonna start with imports. So we these are the de dependencies we will be using, and then as I said, we need to do some pre-processing. So basically, uh, we need to remove uh, color from the image. We need to down sample and only we will be needing half of the image resolution we will be removing the background and then we also need to crop the image and keep only the parts we care for and the information we need and also we need to convert from 80 by 80 matrix to 6400 by 1 matrix which means we need to flatten the matrix so it's easier so that's what we are doing right here okay and the next step is to uh, create our activation functions if you don't know what activation functions are I have a video especially for this so just check it out the next step is where we apply our neural network so it's here only a few lines it's very simple and I will explain these lines one by one so the first line right here will calculate the output of each layer and then we will apply an activation function in this case a simple relu the third step here is we are um, using these um, hidden layers activation values to calculate the final output values and then we are just gonna apply a sigmoid function to get a, bet, uh, a result between 0 and 1 and therefore a valid probability then we are going to take this probability and convert it into an action. So basically, if uh, it will return 2 or 3. And 2 means uh, the, the puddle will go up and the, uh, 3 will mean the puddle will go down. Okay. The next step is uh, we need to uh, learn. Okay. So we need uh, our uh, system to learn uh, using reinforcement learning. So these, these functions here will compute the gradient and will update our weights. Okay. Okay. And here we are going to use reinforcement learning. So we want to learn in such a way that actions taken towards the end of an episode are influencing our learning more than actions taken as the, at the beginning and this is called discount rewards and this is what we are going to be using and we are going to use back propagation to compute the gradient compute uh, for each episode and this is the most important part of reinforcement learning is how our agent will figure it, figure out how to improve over time okay and then finally 
so this is the main function of our game so this is where we call pong and then we also have these hyper parameters these are parameters we have in the beginning for example learning rates um, gamma and um, some uh, running rewards and yeah so and then we also have uh, random weights in the beginning to start with and then we will just apply the previous functions in here to get our uh, hidden layer values and gradients <clears throat> okay this is a loop and uh, we have to execute this until we start winning against the, the computer and this has basically all the process I spoke about before so it will uh, calculate the probability using the neural network and then it will convert this probability into action and move up or down and then it will get a reward or not after this action and then after each reward it will just go through the back propagation and recalculate the the new weights and updates it and yeah as i said here we this is what we are going to be using until our uh, ai agents learn how to play the game and win i have a, a video about simple neural network if you uh, want to watch it okay and basically that's it so now if we try to run this code uh, let me get the name I think AI VS okay so that's what we have and if we give it some time maybe a day then we will finally start seeing good results and then our agents will learn and will win this game against AI obviously the goal here is not winning a pong game we want to learn how to uh, add these algorithms and then we want to implement them in things that are much more interesting like robotics and uh, some other applications so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and subscribe if on my channel if you like these videos because i'm gonna make many other tutorials in the future thank you for watching bye bye